Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is Neil Wims. I want to do a quick review on this Randy Jackson Diamond Series guitar. It's a solid body guitar. He's selling them on um, SHM. Yeah, SHM, Home Shopping Network. And um, I don't shop on there, so. But anyway. I received this guitar as a Christmas gift, so no complaints there. Um, I've seen a few videos on it. Mostly it's just people opening up the package, but not really talking about the guitar itself. Um, I've seen lots of reviews online about this guitar. Most of the things you will read will be negative. Uh, simply because of the way the guitar was put together and what you get uh, it doesn't cost very much you get uh, this case which you can see with this alligator print this plastic which is not really bad it's like a a gig bag of sorts um, you get the guitar you get a strap you get a cord you get some picks a DVD and an amp that's supposed to be 15 watts and a couple of other things, a chart, and you get uh, a letter of authenticity. And supposedly they only made 10,000 of these guitars. This one in particular is number 3,938 of 10,000. So let's let's go into a quick review of this. Like I say, most things I have read about it are negative. Um, I don't think it's really fair. Um, a lot of people saying, why would Randy Jackson put out such crap? Those kind of things. But here's here's what you have. You have basic strat controls, volume, and two tones, and a five-way selector switch. Now, I don't get any pops and crackles out of those, so that's not bad. I did check the wiring on the inside. It is a 24 gauge. Um, it is a, a AWG, American wire gauge, um, and that's pretty good. It was soldered pretty good on the inside, so no complaints. It comes with a whammy bar in and in a bridge. I kind of have mine set up like this. Um, it's not bad. Uh, pit guard, of course, it's not real tortoise shell. Um, has a rosewood neck. And these are uh, imitation abalone. It's not real abalone in the neck or anything like that. Now, let me, let me say this. Um, this guitar, with all the stuff I mentioned, you can get it right now for $340 some dollars. And that's with the amp and everything. The idea is that he designed this for beginners. It is a beginner's guitar package is what it is. It's not meant to be this great, wonderful thing. But for what you pay for, you're basically getting a guitar for less than $100, I would say. And for what you pay for, it's not really that bad. Uh, the pickups aren't great. They really aren't. Um, they're, they're very inexpensive pickups. Um, you do get sound out of them, and that's about it. The tone knobs work well. They work well. Uh, but the pickups just aren't that great. The output on them is not that great. Not a lot of great tone is going to come from these pickups. Um, the neck itself was very dry when I got it extremely dry pale looking ashy looking um i took my neck and of course i lubricated the neck i oiled the neck did some lemon oil on it and i also took some um some uh, steel wool and went across it to make it look better um uh, the only problem i had with the neck was on this fret right here if you can see it looks like somebody sanded it or filed it and it's kind of crooked looking um, but it still plays okay. But again, this is a very inexpensive guitar. If you look here at the edge of the wood, you'll see a crack where they put the fret in. And I think there's one there too. So that's not that great. Um, but it is a beginner's guitar. I'll flip it over. 
Um, this is the back of it, just so you can kind of see, you know, what's happening. Um, he did, uh, he has his own logo here, and it is on the back plate. I think that's pretty cool. This is the neck, which is uh, maple. Come back here, and you have this limited edition stamp on the back. And then again, you see his label. The tuners aren't, aren't bad tuners, really. Um, I like the shape of the headstock. That's one of my favorite things about the look of it. I just think it's kind of cool look. It kind of reminds me of a Ken Smith base, actually. Um, but I have the neck oiled on it. Like I say, I played it a little bit. It's just not that great in tone. But you can't expect a lot for that amount of money. Um, Randy Jackson did put these out here with his name on it. A lot of people, like I said, they want to know why would he do that. It's like degrading himself. I've heard all kinds of things uh, about this guitar in the negative. Uh, I see a few write-ups where people say, you know, I got this for my husband, my boyfriend, or whatever, and he loves it, and it's whatever. And, and it's cool. It's made out of basswood, so it's not, you know, no exotic wood. But then again, so is the new Eddie Van Halen guitars. Their bodies are made out of basswood also. Um, the next step for me with this guitar is new pickups. I uh, ordered some new pickups today from uh, GFS and I'm going to install them in hopefully next week. And I'll come back and I'll let you know what the tone is like, how it's changed. I chose not to play it today just because, but uh, next week, or whenever I get these pickups in, I will plug it up and we'll see what happens with it tonally. The neck feels pretty good. It's got a nice feel to the neck. So there's no complaints there. And I think Randy did, a, uh, as far as his designing of it, I think he did a good job. Great, great access to the fingerboard, you know, up here. Um, he did a good job as far as his design. Yeah, more money could have been put into the pickups and more money could have been put into this and that. But it also would have raised the price. Is also a collector's item, I think, because Randy Jackson, a lot of people just know him from American Idol, but I'm really a bass player. And as far as I remember him back in the 80s with Journey and, and all of that stuff and Whitney Houston albums and all the other stuff that he's done, I, you know, I kept up with that kind of stuff. Um, I also have an endorsement with PV, and I remember PV had the Randy Jackson signature model bass. I never got one. I wish I had one, though. Um, I'm looking. So if you know where one is, hit me up. Um, my name is Neil Wims. This is my review on the Randy Jackson guitar. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you can email me at neilwimsphotos at gmail.com. That's N-E-A-L-W-Y-M-S-P-H-O-T-O-S at gmail.com. And um, hey, hit me up. Talk some more about this guitar. If you're looking for a guitar to give somebody as a gift as their first guitar, I would say it's a great thing. And also, if you already play, you just want to have something different in your arsenal, something you can hot rod up and try to make it into something. It is not really a bad deal. So, again, this is Neil Wims. Uh, have a great day. If you have one of these, play it. If you like it how it is, leave it alone. If you want to upgrade it, upgrade it. Hey, nice talking. And I will see you in a week or so after I've installed my new pickups and we'll see what happens. This is part one of the Randy Jackson guitar review by Neil Wims.